Washington calling counter spy. Washington calling counter spy. Calling counter spy. Washington calling counter spy. Washington calling counter spy. Children. 
Well, Butch, looks like we got to find a new handyman. Yeah, yeah, but come on, let's drag him out. We got enough with that wind blowing and that storm. I don't want to have any corpses laying around here. Yeah. Grab his feet. Okay. Yeah, I got him. Mr. Hardy, 
everybody. Now that the rush is over somewhat, where are we flying to? The Florida Everglades, bud. We land at Miami and proceed south by car. What did you find out from those statistical reports? Well, our statistical department has reported, bud, that a number of shipments of gasoline have been made by six different companies to a certain gasoline launch supply station along the main road in the Everglades. We also found out that a certain shipment of woolers and paper was also sent to this gasoline station. You probably recall the forged coupons were printed on Willis and paper. Yes. And also ink, similar to that used on the counterfeited coupons, was also shipped to this gasoline station. Hey, that's hot. Exactly what kind of a filling station is it, Mr. Harding? Well, are you familiar with the Everglades, bud? No, no, I'm not, sir. There was one main road which has been built up on artificial ground and piling. It runs for nearly 120 miles across the peninsula. It goes over about 40 different little islands. On a few of these are gasoline stations. This gasoline station in question is just about 100 feet off the main road. It services automobiles and also fishing boats. Yes, but how could it service any enemy submarines? People are driving over that road constantly. There must be some neighbors down there. That's the catch. That's what you and I have got to find out, but If anything wrong is going on down there, a mighty clever device is being used. What's your plan, sir? Well, in the morning, we'll land at Miami. We'll get an oil truck, fill it full of gasoline, and find out when a delivery is supposed to be made to this gasoline station. Then you and I will make the delivery. Calling J-8, Palm 
Palm Beach, Florida. Do you get contact? Harding calling J-8, Palm Beach. Coming through. Notify all counter spies on Florida East and West Coast to investigate all ocean-going tugs. Check the last five or six feet of their rope hauvers. I broke a bottle of nitric acid on iron stanchion, which bore marks of a rope hauver having been tied to it. This acid will burn hemp fibers of hauver. Notify immediately of any tug having hauver burned at end. Contact point. 
That means the Gestapo agent will be sent to the Everglades to investigate trouble. Notify Florida police to proceed on observation plan 3B. State police reporting to David Harding according to issued counters by orders. Black limousine speeding down Everglades Trail at 70 miles an hour. Drivers alone in car. Out of state car. License number New York 14C319. So we stop this car at next police intersection. No, let it proceed. Washington, do you contact Baxter? Speak. Yes, sir. I'm in the New York License Bureau, as you requested. Your call is being relayed directly to me. This is Harding. I'm still in Miami. Check for me immediately. New York License, 14C319. Yes, sir. I have the files. Just a minute. 14C319. Uh... Herbert R. Teachman, 1142 East Riverside Drive. Teachman, Teachman, that name's very familiar. I'm having our suspect filing clerk listen in to our conversation. He's probably even now checking on Teachman, and you should hear from him within the next two minutes. Excellent, Baxter. That's using your head. I'll wait right here for his report. Suspect filing clerk, if you're listening on this wavelength, come in as soon as possible. Time's an important element. This is Harding, Miami Countess by headquarters. Come in. Herbert R. Teachman, wealthy broker, German-born, has lived past six years in Berlin, returned to state August 24th, 1940. Bachelor, sworn in Gestapo at Hamburg, 1937. Expert... That's enough, thanks. Signing off. Okay, bud. Now we know what we're up against. It's the big boss himself. Teachman's on his way to check his operators at that gasoline station. We've got to fly down there and quick.
back again at this same time on Monday evening. Tell your friends. Make it a date. Next week, the case of the murdered chemist. Brother versus brother. Death in the laboratory. The corpse that came to life. The mystery of the strange makeup. The secret of the powdered hair. Next week, gripping counter spy. <laughs>